Hey loves, it's your resident queerdo, R Bear here, to give you yet another amazing doll review. Now, I've been collecting queer and gay dolls for a very long time, and this one I kind of was a little hesitant to buy because when I saw the photos and I watched some other reviews of the doll, I really wasn't crazy about it. But Recently on eBay, I found the doll autographed, and I said, you know what? It's a piece of gay history. It's time to get it. So what I want to show you today, what I want to unbox today, is the... <laughs> this is too much. The Jeff Stryker Ultimate Action Figure. Now, this doll came out in 2003, and this one is numbered 1,524 out of 10,008. 10,008 of these dolls are available. And I don't know if I can show you that, but if you look, there you go, you can actually see it. You can see the Love Jeff Stryker written on the plastic. And I kind of got it because of that. I'm not going to lie. I bought it because I love the idea that it was signed. And Jeff Stryker was, is an incredible icon in the gay community. The ultimate action figure. On the back of the box, there's a whole lot written here. If you want, pause it right now and read what it says. <laughs> the box is actually pretty nice. I mean, you have on the top, you have Jeff Stryker, the ultimate action figure. On the sides, you have the ultimate action figure again with some candid photos of Jeff. On this side, we have the exact same thing. And on the bottom, we have the ultimate action figure. There's nothing more to do but to crack this thing open and see, see what this is all about. The only thing that Jeff comes with, besides the doll, of course, is like this little faux leather vest, which, yeah, faux leather vest. It's cute. We're going to put it on him in a little bit. And I have to cover this. He comes with handling instructions. And the handling instructions are really funny. I'm going to read them to you because I think it's really funny. It says, Jeff's skin is very delicate, so please take care when bending his arms and legs. The wrists, ankles, and waist do not bend. Keep the skin smooth and clean by applying baby powder periodically when the clothes, which is spelled wrong, the cloths are removed. Enjoy your Jeff Stryker action figure. Now, this is another anatomically correct doll. And of course, I can't show you. But I will be posting some photos of the unedited Jeff Stryker on my Twitter, at MyConundrum, which you can also see um, Tossa Tossa and other dolls I'll be reviewing on this channel. It says, use special care when removing the boots. Put baby powder on the feet to put boots back on easily. Do not force. Do not use force. Warm the boots slightly with a hair dryer if necessary to make the boots more pliable. And then my favorite, pose his penis into different positions by pushing at the base. Never push the tip. Maybe that's some sage advice. I don't know. So. It's time to look at Jeff. <sighs> I really don't like this doll. And I'm going to tell you the main reason. 
that face sculpt does nothing for me at all. And if we look at the real Jeff Stryker, he was striking. We look at his doll, I don't see any resemblance whatsoever. Like none. It kind of brings me to those days of the Emma Watson Bell doll. And those of you who have one or have seen it, remember. Is this the best face sculpt you could do? I don't know. It doesn't do much for me. Um, the eyes are not really painted on well. He has lunch lady eyebrows um, that look like they've been painted on with a, a Sharpie marker, like the lunch ladies in my cafeteria when I was in school. And his lips. Now, below the head, I think he's actually a pretty attractive doll. I think that the body sculpt is nice. The The hands are in a really weird position. And although the arms go up and down, the, they're not, they can't get out of this position. And it just looks a little weird to me. I wish the arms were able to go down like, like this maybe, you know? So here's Jeff. If you look at him here, he's about the size of a Ken doll. Um, really good body here. Um, I think that the, the body sculpt is nice. Besides this weird stance with his arms, I just, I don't get it. Here's Jeff's back. There's his hair sculpt in the back. The other thing is, I want to show you, his body is like hollow. See that? Like you can do CPR on it or something. And I don't know why, because it doesn't do anything for the doll's posability. He won't stand on his own. I've been trying for a while to make him stand. And I think maybe with some oh okay, we got him. Um he has this little metal armband which I'm really not crazy about. It's the same as the the back of the belt here. But the studs being that big just I think I think they're too big personally. All right. Let's talk Arctic. So Jeff's body is this kind of rubber material, and he does have movable shoulders, okay? He has full range of motion, okay? His arms can click into position, but again, I mean, he has the, the, the hands. The hands are so weird. I I don't like the arms. I don't like the arms at all. Um, the arms are because again, no matter how you click them, you can't get them out of this very strange stance. And the hands are so big. They're so big compared to the rest of the body. Um, it's just very weird. The legs don't move at all. They're stationary, but the knees click. So he can't sit, but he, maybe, and he can't kneel either. So I don't know why they gave him this because there's nothing you really can do with the legs. So they may as well just be stationary. Um, the head can go from side to side. There's really a l very little. We can have him look down. We can have him look up. Um,
it's kind of like a very cheap version of the Fison body. Um, these arms. All right. So let's take a look at him. I haven't looked yet, and I kind of wanted to make my first reaction to his um, privates live. So, all right, Jeff. The pants are very hard to get off also. Oh, okay. So there's um, Jeff Booty. Um, the penis is articulated, which is really funny. Um, so I guess you can pose it any way you want um, in different stages of excitement, I'm guessing. Um, the sculpt is okay. Um, it's okay. It's not great. Um, I don't usually like the idea of doing a review of a doll that I'm not crazy about, but I paid a lot of money for this doll. Um, and unlike Tossa Tossa, which was beautiful and magnificent and made so well, this one is not made so well. So the last thing I guess we have to look at is his vest. Let's put that on and see what we think of it. The vest is actually really well made. It looks really nice. Um, and these arms, God. Okay. Jeff. Oh, it buttons too. Um, So here's his vest. I don't like the way the vest looks um, at all. Um, I don't get it. Do you like this Jeff Stryker doll? Be honest with me. Please leave comments down in, you know, down below. Um, would you pay over a hundred dollars for it? I think I paid just over a hundred dollars for this doll. And if there weren't so many great gay dolls like Billy and Carlos and Tyson and Tossa Tossa and the Tom of Finland doll even, I feel like maybe I would like this doll a lot more. But he has so much competition, and this is just not a very flattering doll, in my opinion. And do I regret buying him? Absolutely not. I love the idea of owning an Icons doll. I love that it's a numbered doll. I love that it's somebody that I can look back on and kind of be happy I have it. Um, but do I love it? Not at all. I do, maybe if the arms were different and it didn't have this strange, unfixable arm situation here, maybe I would like him more. Sorry, Jeff. Um, but that's it. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I couldn't, you know, I, I have to be 100% honest with you, with all you out there. I can't say I like something that I don't. Um, 
I like the idea of the doll. I like a lot of things about the doll, but I dislike a lot more things about the doll. So if you like this review, please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at my conundrum, also at Twitter at my conundrum to see uncensored photos of Jeff and Tossa Tossa and other dolls that I'm reviewing in the next couple of days. And please tell your friends about my channel. And as always, beautiful people out there, queer doll collectors, unite.